Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today we're gonna see how to make the modeling of this lumber mill can be used for games, it can be used for production and it's really easy and really straightforward we have like this gear here and we have the chair we have all this roof and all these little details but it looks in general really cool so let's get started my name is Abanop and this is gfxtoday.com I'm gonna start by making a box from the left viewport this, uh, by holding down control you can make it square and give it some height maybe this direction let's give it a material default material and let's start working from here so let's take this and convert it to an editable poly so, okay, so that we can edit it and I wanna make some extrudes maybe like two now I'm gonna go to vertex sub mode by pressing one from the keyboard Let's exit extrude and start adjusting this maybe we can do it from the left viewport there you go maybe we can rotate it a little bit start adjusting this okay so now we have this base to work on maybe you can scale this a little bit and start scaling this down uh, let's see on these directions maybe okay this good now I'm gonna go ahead and add a symmetry modifier not from this direction let's flip it go to symmetry sub mode and start from here now it's you can see it much better spread the show end result toggle and let's start adjusting this I think it will be I think we need to scale this down again and decide the grid by pressing G from the keyboard and this looks good just keep tweaking this till you get a result that you like now, now we let's press convert to edit poly again or from here let's collapse two or collapse all doesn't matter anyway and now we have this let's select these and scale it down like this a little bit now I'm gonna go ahead and select this edge and press ring and I'm gonna connect this two segments maybe like two I think a little bit okay good let's press ok go down here polygon and select these polygons and again extrude Let's give it some yeah, a little like this okay that's good from here we can go and add another symmetry modifier and this time in the y axis oops no in the z axis sorry and flip it and move it to maybe around here so be good and let's collapse these again to editable poly now i need to make some um, edges around here so maybe you can take this one and this one press a ring and connect if you press ctrl shift e it will automatically connect these so these will be like the wooden uh, chunks or these old painted wooden 
things in here. So I need to let's get this. Um, I don't know. We need to give it some different looks. So maybe you can take this one and extrude it just a little bit like this and start you know maybe rotate it in this direction maybe around this and let's take another one and extrude it just a little bit more like so and let's give it another direction and maybe you can take this one and just push it over like this and i need to make the same in here so maybe you can uh, go to edge and ring and this time i'll use connect and just slide it over like in here take this and extrude just a little bit maybe a little bit more okay so slide it over and rotation looks okay this looks good and maybe we can do again for this side so i'll not use symmetry for two reasons first i don't want to symmetric this area around the other edge or the other side here and the second reason i want some differentiations so it wouldn't be nice to make another symmetry so don't just be lazy and start playing around okay pretty cool now let's go and finish the other part and I'll start by making another box from um, let's see um, I like using the auto grid hold down control and make it around there give it some depth or height and supply the material and let's put it like down here maybe and push it a little bit this side okay I'm gonna add like let's see I uh, I don't wanna chip this a little and add like two edges in the height and let's right click convert it to editable poly take this one and let's start extruding this time I wanna use the bevel not the extrude so bevel and let's see from this location and let's bevel it a little bit like this and okay and another one more and a little bit maybe more like this and now we can push it like just maybe just leave it as it is uh, Let's take these and scale them down. Maybe scale them from this side. Okay. Now let's use the symmetry. Or maybe before we use the symmetry. Oops. Looks like something is wrong in here. Just be careful from these things. Oh my. That's, that's wrong. If you uh, just did this, just get back, undo this. It's not correct don't do this we can just take this and uh, let's see maybe extrude it gotta be careful about these things sometimes this happen yes okay mm, maybe a little And I wanna adjust the rotation to be like this, and let's start tweaking this a little bit more. 
I don't want this to be really thin like this maybe a little bit thicker okay that one looks good now let's uh, go ahead and add another symmetry modifier we will use symmetry a lot in this tutorial maybe something like this I'll check the symmetry from in here I think it needs a little bit more okay now I'm gonna go again to my edit body and add this great now again collapse this and can take this one and this one of course we could do it from the beginning but you know it's not a lot of work maybe a little bit more like this and okay it's good can take this control shift e to connect and scale this a little bit down now you can use symmetry again but this time in the z axis and let's push it over all the way down here uh, let's check from this position and it looks good okay convert to edit poly one more time now we have this looks like this it looks like a strong structure already now I want to reposition this from the ground let's see from the left viewport let's add it like here because we'll start building from the ground I think maybe a little bit more okay now we don't see anything it's good press G get the grade and from the top viewport I wanna center this in my view okay good now let's start building our other object and I won't use the auto grid this time and let's start building from uh, let's see where it is Okay, from here, make another box and okay, buy the material and let's get rid of these segments. We don't need them anymore. You know, it's a it can be good for games, so we don't need to make too much polygons so make this as little as possible so uh, let's uh, get it like 35 here and 39 here and start working from there so I'll decrease this a little and now convert it to an editable poly I think I wanna decrease the height okay now I have fun with the bevel, so bevel a little bit and scale it down and one more time and maybe up and maybe a little bit more like this something like little bit don't be too much and maybe up okay now let's reposition it so I think this looks good maybe you can add another support in here maybe later okay let's copy this hold down shift key from the keyboard press ok and I have this ready for us now let's make another small box in uh, let's see let's put it down here make height like so and let's give it like maybe four segments or maybe five I don't know let's give it like four segments press M and I want to make squares so 12 by 12 and now I'm gonna use the bend modifier you know this bend 
always when you start learning 3ds max we go this bend and start playing like this we we really actually doesn't use this a lot i don't know why but it's really pretty helpful so if you just learn 3ds max you definitely know the bend modifier it's really cool and you know you can make some animations like this like a worm or something oh no okay <laughs> so let's let's go ahead with our um, tutorial I think this needs to be supported by something in here so okay I leave this as it is maybe just make another copy of this press the mirror copy okay and flip it to oops no nope. and uh, let's make it in the y direction press okay and put it down here you can actually always use the snap so right click and make sure you check the end point and uncheck the grid points and press s to active the snap or just press in here and get this one and press and hold here so this makes it perfectly in place now let's worry about press s again and let's worry about this let's take i don't know all of this okay and hold down shift and move them over and clone it to another object press ok and now let's uh, I wanna isolate this so press alt q and this is open as you can see so press this uh, uh, borders and press cap so now we closed them you wanna make sure that all your 3d models are closed like this now let's uh, press alt q again or press isolate from here to go to this uh, main viewport and uh, I wanna check shaded we don't need these shadows in here anymore and maybe you can scale this a little bit now you can see the uh, this axis is not in in the right place so I'm going to hierarchy and affect pivot only and center this to our object and then close it now it's centered to our object and we can scale it a little bit up and maybe a little bit down from this direction now this looks good maybe um, maybe you can take this one and this one just select one of them and from the box I wanna make the height a little bigger maybe decrease a little bit height okay and we can just copy this height number and paste it in here okay that looks good from this angle and now we need to make another symmetry so delete this not this one just delete this ones and make another symmetry in the z-axis and center it like uh, so I make sure from this angle they are totally match with each other and they does okay we have this one ready let's copy these two objects Hold down shift and add them to here okay and uh, let's no let's we can again snap each one of these oh, press s and snap this to this vertex no make sure you get it right from this vertex to this vertex okay great and the other one same thing and now press s again and take this hold on shift and put it in here 
Okay, now this looks good. Let's add this metal area from this viewport. Maybe like, oh, let's see in here. Maybe you can start from the center, hold down control. And push, push it, oops, push it all the way through here. Make sure you delete these segments, we don't need them, just try click on these arrows and the height. Increase height, give a material and hold down shift, make another copy. And let's uh, decrease this a little bit. Maybe like this looks good. Let's take these ones. Maybe you can group and hold down shift. This time I'm gonna mirror it but without making a copy and in the x axis push it all the way through. By the way, you can just make all these and symmetry all of them to the other side but i don't like this because we have these difference differences here now let's make the parts that start actually doing the job from here i'm gonna make a, another box and give it some height maybe a little bit more Again, the material, and let's give it two segments in here. And oops, no, two segments here. Right click, convert edit poly, and I want to choose this scale, scale this up a little, like maybe so. And great, now let's se select these segments, this polygon, and this polygon. Hold down. Uh, press delete now I'm gonna go to border sub mode and choose the choose these two borders and let's go to and press bridge so bridge will just make you know bridge between these two great so we have this part ready let's put it into position and I think it's pretty good actually now I'm gonna make the gear so the gear will be consisted from a cylinder and let's go uh, down here and I wanna make the center of it from this and make the gear maybe a little bit smaller than we actually want and you'll see the reason in a minute so make this one segment one and let's make it like 20 press m and i'm gonna convert it to an editable poly and now i wanna choose every segment of these so i'm um, pressing ctrl 8 select all press alt hold down alt and deselect this so now I've selected everything now let's go to the extrude and from here I want to choose by polygon so by polygon will just make every polygon like this individual so let's select this one and another maybe just from here we will make sure you select this option so use pivot point center okay and choose uh, let's from here and uh, let's select uh, uh, local local is good and no maybe uh, just okay and let's make another uh, let's first now I'm gonna change this to the center and I wanna rotate this little bit like this. Now again, make 
another extrude and OK and now I'm gonna press hold down control and press vertex so that I select all these vertices that intersect with these polygons and now weld everything so let's get this uh, yes great and maybe something like this and maybe we we'll just scale them down and press grow and scale all of this down a bit and I wanna scale the whole thing from this direction good so now we have this gear and it looks good maybe I don't know maybe let's decrease shrink and decrease this rotation a little bit it's too intense maybe something like so okay now it looks good with uh, very few segments now I wanna make another cylinder again from the center of this maybe something like here give it a long height and this will be the supporting rate maybe let's go from like down here to there now let's take the two of these and let's reduce radius a little bit and hold down shift make a copy of this press ok decrease height maybe something like okay maybe uh, that's good and the radius now we can just decrease the segments for this so instead of 20 we can make it like maybe let's say 7 and 7 for this let's make it a little like 12 now I'm gonna make another box as you can see the whole process is pretty straightforward actually oops okay click convert to edit poly and I'm gonna use the bevel a little bit maybe like this decrease a little maybe decrease a little bit more like so I think I can increase the size of this decrease sorry okay and this looks pretty good now let's make another <coughs> copy of this <coughs> sorry and okay yes so this looks pretty good we can make another one on the other side and I think we need to work on this a little bit more so just grab this and this get the bevel, bevel and see from this side maybe the left view and let's make like base to it so first I I want to make a little bit height and go very narrow like this maybe a little bit more like so just leave it almost as it is maybe a little bit narrower and let's go a little more increase it then go all the way down okay so now this has the supporting area now 
this everything here looks good and we just need to distract the eye a little bit so I'm gonna make some wooden chunks like some just boxes maybe a box like this maybe let's uh, decrease size width and we'll make multiple copies from this just randomizing the rotation and position of this so hold on shift it's okay let's add this Okay, so the, uh, rotate it a little and move this, move it this way. Maybe make another one. Hold down shift and rotate this a little bit. Maybe rotate it that way. Can also check the side put it on the ground and move it a little bit this way great now we can choose these two put like two of them here and rotate them maybe rotate this one and move this Okay, now it's up to you to add more details and more things to your model. Don't be too much with details. So it needs to be good, but don't add too much polygons and too much segments. Remember, games doesn't like your doesn't need too much segments. So I'll work on this and get back to you. So I've done uh, this small little chair, nothing special, just a box and band and these like two boxes, so this is a chair and just made a couple of these wooden chunks again. So this is our, our final model and in the next tutorial we will see how to make the modeling, the, sorry, the textures, how to paint them on Photoshop and then how to apply these textures and apply them and we'll see how to make the rendering of this with V-Ray to make it look good so um, don't go anyway and make sure to see the next tutorial thank you for watching my name is Abanov and this is gfxtoday.com